I've always been interested in helping others and I think by working in the public service I'll be able to have a direct impact on people's lives. There's a lot of research into teaching and teachers and so much of it targets beginning teachers in their first year or two but not a lot looks at what happens next. By studying a Master of Economics, I've been able to understand from a different perspective the problems that our world and our communities are facing. By studying this degree as well, I found that my eyes have been open to possible solutions to these problems too. Attrition rates for teachers in Australia remain really high. Some estimates put it as many as 40% of teachers leaving within their first five years. So ultimately I'm hoping that my research will inform policy and the development of policies that shape teachers' careers in Australia. Applying for graduate jobs, it's very competitive, but having that Master of Economics on your resume really gives you the cutting edge. People really value that postgraduate qualification, but most importantly, they really value those analytical and critical thinking skills that you gain through that course. The seed of the idea for doing my PhD study was really planted seven years ago when I did my Masters at Sydney University. I met a number of really incredible academics who inspired and challenged me to think about research as something that I could and should pursue and that I would come back to later on in my teaching career. The teaching staff have been so passionate about their specialisation and that passion really comes through in how they teach and it can even be a little bit contagious.